The first time you will launch Blender, you will have this splash screen. You will be able to make some quick setups. For example, you can choose the shortcuts. You can choose between Blender 2.8, 279 or the new industry compatible if you use for example Maya uh, with Alt etc etc. Personally I prefer to use um, Blender shortcuts Blender 2.8 uh, because all the tutorial you will follow will use this one and uh, you will not have any compatibility issue but you can use the one you want and if you prefer the industry compatible use this one. Same for the selection button left or right you can choose the one you want. I prefer, enfin, personally, use the left button. For this pass bar, you can ch uh, choose between three tools. Play to play animation, tools to have some uh, tools, the tools here, and search to launch the search uh, menu to search from, for tools, just like that. So I will just, just use uh, tools, and if I want to make a search, this is F3 button. So after, you can choose the theme, dark theme or light theme, I'm old, I prefer uh, dark time for my eyes, it's better. And once I'm okay, I can click here on next. And I will be able to create a new file, general, do the animation, sculpting, VFX, video editing. I can also open a file or recover last session. This one will be uh, each time you will launch Blender, so you will be able to choose what you want. And you can get rid of it if you want in the adult preferences. You can also see the manual, so if you are new to Blender, check the manual. You can see the release note to see the new version, enfin, the new option for the uh, daily builds, etc. You can go to the Blender website, uh, credit, uh, release note again, and you can give to the development fund. So it's up to you. Once you're okay with your setting, you can click to get rid of this splash screen. But if you want to show it, you can click on this button here and you can choose splash screen. And as you can see, you have some other uh, options. So click on the splash screen. And on this splash screen, you can see a number of version here. So this is Blender 2.8. This is pretty uh, interesting because uh, with the number of version, you can report bugs and you can say, uh, I'm on this version and give the number. I will show you on Blender 2.81. So as you can see on this version, Blender 2.81 alpha with the date, the hour and the hash. Like that, you give this to developers and they, they will know which version you are using. So this is really important and really useful. 